Radio helps you complete the commissioning checklists for the Radiance range of TIUs from Reliance UK. You can find the checklist at the back of the installation and maintenance guide. For this video, we have used the Rapid unit, which provides instantaneous direct hot water and heating. Pre-commissioning. Visually check the installation is complete by checking all connections in the TIU. Check there are no leaks in the installation when the ball valves are opened. Check that the secondary system is filled and is pressurised to a minimum of one bar and a maximum of two bar, and that the cold water main supply is on. Check that the heat meter is operating and not in sleep mode. To wake the meter from sleep mode, simply remove the plastic covering from the screen. Press and hold the power button at the bottom right of the meter for five seconds until the screen changes to show a zero reading. Check that the unit is fully wired in and the power supply is switched on. Finally, ensure that the heating controls are wired in and operating. Valve settings. Checking the thermostatic bypass valve. The valve should be set to 45 degrees or position 1 on the valve dial. To adjust the temperature, push down on the plastic locking ring and rotate the head to the desired setting, clicking the locking ring back into place once finished. Checking the differential pressure control valve. Always check that the valve is fully open. If you are unsure, close the valve by rotating the handle clockwise until it stops. Then reopen the valve by rotating the handle counterclockwise until it stops. Finally turning half a rotation clockwise. Checking the zone valve. The recommended setting for the zone valve is 150 litres per hour. The flow rate can be checked using the heat meter by pressing the button five times to reach the flow rate screen. To adjust the setting, unscrew the locking nut and remove the valve cap. Using either a small adjustable spanner or pliers, rotate the square face of the brass nut clockwise to close the valve or anti-clockwise to open. Allow the meter to settle for a few moments. Once you have reached the desired setting, replace the cap and secure by screwing the locking nut back into place. When the heating controls are set to switch the unit on, the red center of the zone valve should pop out. When the heating control reaches temperature and has switched the unit on, the red centre of the zone valve should retract to be flush with the valve cap. Checking the thermostatic heating control valve. The recommended setting for the thermostatic heating control valve is 60 degrees, which is setting 4 on the dial. Checking the thermostatic mixing valve. The heat guard thermostatic mixing valve is located as shown in the unit and is supplied factory set at 55 degrees. When running the unit for the first time, you will need to record a few settings which can be taken from the heat meter. Primary flow rate. To check and record the primary flow rate, firstly ensure there is flow through the unit as indicated by this symbol on the heat meter. Press the button on the heat meter five times to reach the correct screen. If you only press the button four times, you will see the reading M cubed. Press the button again and you will see the unit M cubed per hour in the bottom right corner of the screen. It is important to wait a moment or two as the flow rate will need time to settle for an accurate reading. Primary flow temperature. To check and record the primary flow temperature, press the button on the heat meter six times from the home screen or one additional time from the flow rate screen. This will show the flow temperature entering the TIU in degrees. Primary return temperature. To check the primary return temperature, press the button on the heat meter seven times from the home screen or one additional time from the flow temperature screen. This will show the temperature returning from the TIU in degrees. By pressing the button on the heat meter eight times from the home screen or one additional time from the return temperature screen, the meter will show the temperature difference between the flow and return in degrees. Pressing the button nine times from the home screen or one additional time from the temperature differential screen will show the current heat output of the TIU in kilowatts. If you leave the heat meter inactive for a couple of minutes, it will always return to the home screen. Your Radiance TIU is now commissioned and fully operational. We recommend that the INM guide is left with the unit to help with future maintenance. If anything hasn't quite gone according to plan, 
check out our troubleshooting video, which helps to identify some of the most common problems and walks you through the solutions. Thank you.